Hi, this is Rocky Carson with Racket World, and today I'd like to go over how I like to warm up before a match. For myself, I like to start out with hitting ceiling balls to get a good feel and to know exactly where I want to hit the ball on the ceiling every time. It's also pretty easy on your arm, allowing you a little bit of time to get the motion of swinging the racket. After hitting ceiling balls, I always move to the backhand. It's easier for me to warm my backhand up first. If you notice, I'll start with down the lines, then usually move to either pinches and finishing up with passes or cross court wide angle passes. Right now, I'm just looking to dial in each shot and gain confidence as I move through my warm up. Obviously, I just finished warming up my backhand, so usually I'll move to warming up my forehand. It's helped loosen my arm up, hitting backhands first, so now I'll start probably hitting forehands at about 60 to 70 percent moving it all the way up to eventually swinging at about 100 percent. I use the same routine as I did on the backhand. Down the lines, splats, then usually cross court or wide angle passes. The longer I warm up, the more pinpoint I'm trying to be with my shots. Now that I've warmed up my forehand and my backhand and practiced the shots I'm probably going to use during the match, I'll move up to the service box and practice different serves that good chance I'm going to be using during the match. If you have a lob serve that you like to practice, dial that in before you start using it during the game. For myself, I go from there to a drive Z, dialing that in and trying to get the targets on the front wall so that it's, I'm executing the shot into the back corners. After executing that properly, I'll move into the drive serve. For the drive serve, I usually start with a cross court drive serve first, trying to dial that in. And then eventually, after I feel comfortable with that, I'll move over and start hitting a down the line drive serve, trying to dial that in. If I hit a drive Z or see myself hitting mini wraparounds, I'll practice those as well. A big part of hitting these shots is to gain confidence for your match. Now that we've warmed up our forehands, our backhands, and dialed in some serves, one of the things I think many of us forget is to warm up our legs properly. I'll usually start with doing drills so that I have to move to the ball, set my feet, and step back to the ball as it keeps coming back. I love this drill because it forces me to go to the ball and step to the ball properly. Another drill I like to warm up with is just feeding myself basic setups off the front and off the back wall so that I have to set my feet and execute basic shots down the lines, pinches, and cross courts. This will help get a feel of how to attack the ball properly and get your timing down. What I like about these drills is that it helps you dial in on how to attack the ball properly. One of the last drills I'll use is setting myself up with ceiling balls and working on executing shots that come up short from the back wall as well as setups that come off the back wall. 
Ceiling balls are one of the hardest shots to execute and hit level down the lines as well as pinches into the corners. Once I've done that, I know I'm feeling pretty good. Game time. Now go out and get this win.